The Rising Seven Camp is all about challenging, empowering and inspiring the next generation of Australian female surfers. The High Performance Charter is all about creating the world's best surfers and the world's best people. But this challenge is literally a WCT event in two days. I want you all to walk away saying that you had every opportunity in the water and showcase your surfing. And seeing how they adapt to the pressure, how they adapt to all of the different challenges we put on their shoulders and how respectful they are both in and out of the water. It's pretty much a massive opportunity and you girls obviously being selected out of every girl in Australia. The girls who have been hand selected to join us at this camp are under 21. They've been identified as incredible athletes with world title hopes on their shoulders. I see the girls around me and I'm like, wow, like I'm part of this, the seven girls. Um, yeah, it's huge, especially being chosen by Lane Beachley. So I'm very, very grateful and very excited. It's such an amazing opportunity to be picked to be involved in the Rising Seven camp, especially with Lane, someone that I think we all look up to so much. To know that everything you, you know, the hard work you've put in throughout your whole junior career and to be noticed for it and to be picked to be here is, is just such a good feeling and yeah, I'm so stoked. It means a lot to me, especially to be picked by Lane um, and only seven in Australia in girls. Um, it's pretty special and makes me realise, oh, like maybe I'm okay at serving. <laughs> Like some of the older girls I've like grown up watching in the QSs and stuff and it feels super surreal being in the same camp as them and being considered like to go up against them. Yeah, just to learn from Lane and share her experiences with her and yeah, that would be amazing. It's crazy actually, yeah. to be at this Rising 7 camp, like all the girls that are here is just like psycho, like they're all so good. Look, what is it going to take? for someone to walk away with $10,000 in a year's worth of mentoring for me. A lot. 10K would be very beneficial. Sometimes flights just to get over here and back, it's two grand. It is a big trip. I've been working three jobs to like try and save up for the challenge series, so the 10 grand would definitely be a help to like try and get me to all the comps and stuff. 10K, that's that's a lot of money. That would mean a lot, it would help a lot with like all like the surfing and everything, like travelling and all that, but yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, to win that money and have Lane by my side would be such a big help, especially for this year. You've got three challenges this morning. Each challenge is going to be worth 10 points. You want to go all out because you want to be top of that leaderboard by the end of the day. I call Chelsea the mother hen. She's in charge of this whole thing. She's been really driving this. She's done an incredible job of putting together the agenda, bringing together the challenges. She is even the one that came up with the concept of making it feel like a WCT and, and the WSL finals and, um, and driving the athletes really hard. The camp is what's coming up is pretty secret. Honestly, I have no idea what we're going to do, so I don't even know what to say. <laughs> um, you just know that you're going to be challenged and it's going to be hard. Really exciting. Nervous. Ah, so many things. <laughs> so the first challenge, 35 minutes block, is going to be best manoeuvre. You can catch as many waves as you want in 35 minutes and you're going to get scored on one manoeuvre. And then the second challenge will be best one wave overall. Third one is most progressive manoeuvre. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit more crazy, a little bit more expression. So really want to see you girls push it. I think all the girls, like everyone here has different like strengths and weaknesses. I'm really gonna have to step up, but yeah, 100% looking to win. My pick would between would be Ellie and Nixie as they just made the Challenger series. But I'm also keeping an eye out for Willow Hardy. She's, you know, she's the baby of the group, but she's a, she's a silent assassin. But definitely Nixie and Ellie, like being selected for Challenger, like they've made that like step above us all, but. I don't know, Zalia, Coral, Nixie, they're all rippy. Like anyone could come out of nowhere, it's scary. <laughs>
big manoeuvres. That huge individual manoeuvre will make or break a heat. You can turn a wave that is a three into an eight just with one turn and you want to complete the wave because that leaves a lasting impression in the judge's mind. Nixie Ryan came out of the gates all gun blazing. The waves were pumping, it was about six to eight foot and Nixie just strokes into the wave of the day and just hammers her last turn on the big section. She could have just come in and just saved herself for the next challenge, but she went back out there and maybe found a couple of others. Yeah, I'm stoked to take out the first challenge. It was super hard out there because it was so crowded, but um, managed to get one or right one. But yeah, it was super tricky, but definitely lots of good waves on offer. Yeah, I just saw the one big section coming at me, so I was like, I just got to hit it. Like, um, there wasn't much on the wave before, so you just got to give it everything on the last section. But yeah, the next challenge is the best wave, so um, I think I'll just try and find a wave that has a few more sections on it, so I can do a few more good turns and yeah, just see how it goes. In first place was Nixie. She get it on her first wave. Yeah, I saw all the way through to the inside and just hammered this oh, really? inside section. Yeah. It was phenomenal. It was outstanding. It was set too. And it was the best manoeuvre of the whole challenge. So, needless to say, she's uh, in first place. It was actually really challenging just considering, you know, um, the amount of people that were out there. Obviously, it's cabots. Um, yeah, we're wearing rashies, but you know, we don't have right of way. So uh, that was very challenging with the people. The waves were really fun. I just had to get really lucky, but I'm feeling good. I mean, I feel like we, we're putting a lot of pressure on ourselves because obviously we all want to win, but um, it's a good start for myself and I'm really happy with um, my second and hopefully just up from here. Challenge number two was about the best wave. It was about piecing together a full ride versus just one manoeuvre. And surprisingly, Nixie just got lost in the lineup. But was what was unsurprising was that that lit a fire up Ellie. She didn't win the first challenge. I think that really disappointed her and that really made her channel her focus and attention into getting the job done. She came out all guns blazing and put on a really dynamic performance. But as to be expected with Nixie, she never gives up. And she, within about the last 10 to 12 minutes, she managed to pick off a good wave, which then helped her find her rhythm in the lineup and then pieced together the heat winning wave in the last few minutes of the heat to put herself back in the middle. Nixie up. Who's this? Nixie. Nixie. Looks a little angry. That's there we go. Like Come on, square up. Oh. Oh. Do it again. Yeah. Come on. Nixie coming back from the dead in the dying so minutes good. of she's, the heat. She's the sleepy giant, eh? Yeah, I couldn't really get a wave at the start, but I was I just kept coughing sets on the head and stuff, so it's kind of rattled, but I just came inside and snagged a little double up, which yeah, gave me the score. I was trying to get a quick start out there and that didn't work out, so I just knew if I just got one wave, that's all that mattered. And yeah, you can change the heat with just one wave. Like, before I got to know Nixie, like, I always thought she was a bit shy, but she's actually like, the funniest person when you get to know her. But like, she definitely is so humble about it. Like, if you just met her, I don't know if you'd think she rips as hard as she does, but she's definitely like a secret assassin. We're doing a paddle priority, 35 minutes. So it's a bit of a mind game. You can sit with priority for 20 to 30 minutes or you can be under priority and get a good one. Dog style. Oh! oh. 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 